put some roux on the Barbie. Proper Australian. Last night we had car issues. Started to struggle a little bit. I'm sad. I'm not crying, you're crying. The service is really bad here. Oh, I've been asking the last 10 minutes. Oh, oh, God, you're a disappointment. It was the worst service we have ever had. Welcome back to another vlog. So in this vlog, I'm going to be showing you what we've been up to for the last week. So the previous vlog brought you up to date with my daughter and her fiance arriving from Scotland. And um, so the past week we've been just doing some sightseeing. Uh, we went to an arcade down the Gold Coast called Time Zone, which is massive. There is so much to see and do there. I think it's the biggest one I've ever been to, but it's full of arcade games. The kids are off enjoying themselves. She win prizes, of course. So far they haven't won anything. They've got a little bowling alley. They have a cafe. Actually, I just realised, for those old enough to remember, and being still live here, but this is the old Rundy's complex. Do you remember back in the 80s and 90s, possibly, um, where we had the ghost train up here, we had a rifle range, we had the um, uh, oil or something, one of the rides in the window. Um, that all used to be up here. And now it's just a big, massive arcade. It's pretty cool. If you do remember Grundy's, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. But besides that, I had an idea. I mean, it is really noisy in here. I think these comfy chairs that they've got around for like parents to wait in, they need to put some noise cancelling headphones here for us old people. Because it's very noisy. Like, there's so many different noises going on right now. I don't know if they can hear me, but there's lots of flashing lights and lots of noise and my brain's just, oh. Anyway, just a thought, time zone. <laughs> And then after we finished the time zone, we went to Karen's Diner, which was the worst service we've ever had. Okay, so the next stop is a restaurant that our daughter booked. Um, not my normal choice of a restaurant. Um, not everybody's cup of tea, and I'm pretty sure there's people out here watching who would not want to go on the net. Um, but this is a restaurant with a difference. Let's go check it out. Fanta. Well, I've been asking for the last 10 minutes. That's not my f***ing problem. You clearly weren't asking hard enough. Oh, well, <laughs> what can you say? You should have stopped after these ones. So as you can tell, the service is really bad here. Um, getting salted and stuff. So they just need to put some roux on the Barbie. Good morning. Okay, so this morning I have to get Emily Jane to a job interview, but last night we went out and my car was playing up. I mean, it's due for a, well, it's overdue for a service. Um, anyway, so last night the petrol thing on my you know on the display doesn't come up anymore. Um, my car's been doing a lot of spluttering and stuff, and oh, and then two nights ago I've lost my lights sort of so they kind of work not very bright if i put them on high beams my back ones don't work so something's like on my electrics because i can't see how much fuel i have left and either but then last night when we got home um we were about to drive up the driveway and my car lost power to get up the driveway so i'm really worried now that my car is not going to work to get her to her interview um but a warning light came on for the water which is weird because only a couple of weeks ago i filled up the water in my radiator when my dad was here so I need to work out how to do this because Damien told me last night I need to put water in my car. So let's check and see if I can get how to get into it. Uh, oh wait, that way. Let me 
you'll get it eventually. Okay, so I'm going to work this out. I really don't know much about cars. And I kind of wish Damien did this for me, but anyway, where's the radiator? I know it's at the front, right? Radiator's at the front, right? Uh, actually, my radiator's not at the front. Oh, my dad's not available this morning. Hmm. I've got this. I'll work this out. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. This is embarrassing, isn't it? <clears throat> radiator. It's not at the front. I know nothing, but normally the radiator thing is like at the front, right? But I can't see. That's like the, the water, and that's the power steering, I'm assuming. And then, I mean, maybe that's connected. What does that say? Hmm. Oh, okay. Where does it go? I might have to ring my dad. Just give me a second. <laughs> I rang dad. Dad couldn't help me. He said, look in the book. So I looked in my little book. And according to the book, I think it's the coolant light that came on, which means I need to buy some coolant. Um, but I have to go because I have to take her to her job interview. Uh, so I might have to buy some coolant and work out how to put that in and where to put that in. And I think it's over here at the back, but yeah, I'll let that out. But let's hope my car goes. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Okay, just an update. So I pulled into a service station um, and got some petrol, but asked the guy about coolant because I looked at them all and I was so confused. But lovely man's helped me out and he's going to come over and help me put coolant here once my car's cooled down a little bit. Hopefully we'll still be on time for the job interview. A bit of a drive ahead of us, but here we are. Looks like it's gone off, which is good. The man is very, very helpful. Big thumbs up to where are we? Uh, Pacific Petroleum. Awesome, thank you, whoever you are. Um, but now, off to a job interview. Okay, good news. We have made it to her job interview. She's currently in there now, so hopefully it all goes well. So far, my car's been good. I haven't had any lights come on, winning. And um, the petrol um, thing has come back on again, which is good. And uh, yeah, so far it's okay. So hopefully all is well. So come down to watch the sunset at Kangaroo Point Cliff. So pretty, one of my favourite spots. Oh, and he's here today. It is now the day before my daughter goes back to Scotland. Started to struggle a little bit, but I'm um, going to make the most of today. I think we're going down the beach because, because Jordan wants to go for a swim. So I might be doing that later on. Um, but someone I follow, Catherine Manning, has started doing a thing where she does something each day to make her day better. So I've started to imply that. So it might be even little things like having a cup of tea out on the back deck, um, reading a part of my favorite book, might be drawing, might be um, writing, because I do like doing creative writing. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and do something today that makes today better. Okay, I'm back. So, we decided to come for a barbecue on our last day. Um, Damien's not with us, he's not work today, but I'm going to try and do this. We have free electric barbecues here, so I'm just going to work out how to use them. Um, give me a sec. Right, so I've got to press a button. I think it's this button. Yes, hold it. For six seconds. One, two, three, four, 
Alright, there's a light come on. Is there a light somewhere? Oh, there we go. Alright, so I'll be this one that's cooking. Oh, look at that. Kitchen with a view. Nice. Now to get the food. I've never been able to do this because it's always been the manager this part. It's quite fun. It's liberating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can do my own yeah. barbecue. <laughs> okay, I like I the view. Turn my what a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook my own kangaroo. Jordan wanted kangaroo, so we had to get some. Although I feel like us women are smart. I could be brought tin foil. Most men just use it right on the thing. Yeah. We've got some kangaroo for Jordan to try here. I've tried kangaroo once, but um, I'm not a massive fan. So, have you had kangaroo before? I have, yeah, you have. I like okay. it. All right, so it's a very dark red meat. Well, anyway, we're gonna cook that up for Jordan. So I've got to cook like this because otherwise I'm not on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. None of this put a shrimp on the barbie. Put some roux on the barbie. Proper Australian. Once again, we have our bin chickens. Waiting for some food. Okay, so the kangaroo is cooked. We're just finishing off some bacon. Because Emma Jane wanted bacon on her barbecue. She doesn't really like barbecue, so. Um, and just cooking up the bristles. Looking really good. And then it'll be time to eat. Okay, I may have massacred the tinfoil on the thing that's all starting to But, um, I think they're done. My bacon is kind of. Well, I'm really done. So, let's go eat. Look, Lamington time. <laughs> in England, we chase squirrels, in Australia, we chase ibis. Do not feed them. I know. Do not feed them. Why not? Because you're encouraging them. Good. Australia, free showers and everything. Okay, today's the day. It's time to take Eden and Jordan to the airport so they can fly back to Scotland. <sighs> Not looking forward to today at all, but I knew it was coming. Okay, let's do this. We've made it to the airport. 
May the long journey begin. She was arriving just down there and now it's time to say goodbye. Emily Jane's helping her out with carrying the case. Emily Jane, are you going to San Francisco too? Yeah. <laughs> this is how you check in now at Brisbane Airport. You have to do it all yourself. Look, she can't go. The computer says no. She's got to stay. Does that mean you got to stay? No. Oh. <laughs> well, both um, both of them having issues with child check-in. One is saying that documentation needs to be checked, and no one's here to check it. And Jordan's one is saying that he needs to put his postcode in um, of his of his destination, but his postcode requires letters, and there's no letters to press. It's all numbers. So no one's here to help. So now they need a human. Hmm. But that guy there, well, let us go past the self checkout. Interesting. Finally getting some help. Maybe they're telling them they can't board, not allowed to go. That's what the lady's saying. You must stay here. The lady, what? She's telling you you can't go? Yeah. No. <laughs> she was just um, asking you enough questions. Oh, I thought maybe she was saying, sorry, you can't leave the country. Not allowed to go. That's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, tell us about the journey ahead. Okay. Uh, well, currently nine. Flight is supposed to take off at 11.30. And that flight is, I think it's 13 hours and five minutes. Uh, then we've got a seven hour and five minute stopover. In San Francisco? In San Francisco, yep. And then from San Francisco, we fly to Frankfurt, which is 11 hours and 35 minutes. And then our stopover there is seven hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a one hour and 55 minutes from Frank Frankfurt to Glasgow. And then we catch a, we arrive there at like 6.45 p.m. on Wednesday. And then we catch a train from Glasgow to Annan, which is about two hours, and three, to depending on the train station. And then from the train station, we have to walk home, which is only like five, ten minute walk, but it'll be at 11.30 p.m. Like in doing. minus two. It's minus two. Yeah. Okay. So it's a bit chilly. And they're going to get snow on Thursday, so it's something to look forward to. Yeah. So it's now Tuesday morning and you get home, what, yeah, what time? Our time? Wednesday um, morning? Our time? It would be... About 9.30 when we get home, 9.30 p.m. on Thursday night for you. Thursday night? Thursday really? morning. Thursday morning. Yeah, okay. Thursday morning. Okay, Thursday morning our time you get home. Yeah. It's now Tuesday night, Tuesday morning. Wow, it's a long journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure you send me some photos along the way. <laughs> Have you had a nice time in Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed it. It's been nice. Um, I will be glad to be home now, see my, my dogs and Ali and Gaga and everyone, but I have enjoyed the trip. It's been good. good to see everyone. Very good. You'll miss me, hey? Absolutely. <laughs> I secretly bought you a ticket and you're coming home with me. Oh, nice. <laughs> Bye, Emily Jane. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to drive. She, 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 she can drive myself home. <laughs> Alright. Bye.
Do our second place this time, okay? Don't cry. <laughs> You've got no mother. <laughs> You're coming to me this time. You'll be okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I'm not crying. You're gonna go fast. I'm not crying. Oh, I feel bad for laughing. People can resist emotions in different ways. Okay, we've done our goodbyes and now Emma Jane and I are going to go drive down to watch the plane take off at the other end of the runway. She's going to miss her, really. What are you doing? You're going to miss her, really, aren't you? No. Yes, you are. I'll be fine. And Jordan. Oh, yeah, no, he's cool. I like him. <laughs> You're crying. She left me a note. <laughs> and my Jane just gave it to me after they took off as I watched her disappear into a dot in the horizon. But yeah, that's the hard part. Anyway, I think we're gonna go home now. I've got some work to do, so bye for now. Good morning. It's now Wednesday morning. It's about uh, quarter past six in the morning. Um, my daughter is in San Francisco. She's been there for the last seven hours and she's about to board her plane back to Frankfurt, which is about a 13 hour flight, I believe. So I had a bit of a late night last night. I think it was about half past one in the morning before I got to bed after watching her land in San Francisco, just about half past 12 and then sort of chatting to her. So yeah, a bit tired, but I have to get up this morning. I'm hoping to do some editing on the, this video, which hopefully will go up tonight, Wednesday night, let's hope. Um, and then this morning I have to take Emma Jane for another job interview. I think that's at 10. So it gives me a bit of time. But I'm really tired this morning, so I'm just debating whether to start editing now or to do it when I come back. But anyway, um, yeah, it's weird her not being here now because she's been here for like the last six weeks. Now, this time yesterday she was in bed with me here just giving me cuddles and now she's halfway around the world so ah the joys of being a mum hey <laughs> anyway um gonna go make a cup of tea and get ready for the day um luna's being a bit of cuteness down here let me just show you so cute anyway i have to go and get ready so let's do this Okay, so I did manage to get an hour's sleep instead of going and doing some work. So I've been sitting in my car while Emily Jane's at her job interview and I've been catching up on some work um, on my phone, which has been awesome. Uh, we have an errand to run after this and then I'm going home to edit. So um, 
yeah, today's is going to be an editing and work day. I've got some work to do for a client as well, so that'll keep me busy for the day. That's this vlog over and done with. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe down below so that you're first to be notified of any new videos. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.